Yeah, we're out here today on First Street Pier. Uh, this is pretty much where it all started. Topping the list of the great and famous South Beach Pier fishermen is a 20-year-old Miami-Dade Community College student, Rene De Dios. Miami-Dade College students Robert Ramos and Pedro Gomez take viewers on a nostalgic journey through Miami Beach in their short documentary, Rene De Dios and the South Beach Shark Club. Told through the eyes of local shark fishermen, the film is a coming-of-age story for the subjects and the city. This was a story that I grew up with, and it was a story that I was told by my uncles and my dad, but it was also something that I got to live, uh, going down to First Street and fishing at night on the boardwalk. It's just something that I felt like was almost like a campfire story that I was told as a kid, and it's just something I felt like would transition very well into film. The documentary was created as part of their curriculum at MDC's School of Entertainment and Design Technology. Housed at MDC's North Campus, students receive technical, theoretical, and practical hands-on experience with degrees in film, television, music business, and more. As part of the bachelor program, students spend a year producing, filming, and editing short films. There is no place that you can get this much exposure to equipment, uh, to industry techniques than at Miami-Dade College. Taking classes at Miami-Dade College, uh, part of the bachelor's program for film production, has been fantastic. Um, it's everything from pre-production to post-production. The lessons that we've been taught for permits, how to handle everything the legal way, uh, screenwriting, you know, it's, uh, they've all been invaluable tools that, you know, I highly recommend. <laughs> In the spring, the students put their work to the test, submitting their film to Cinema Slam, Miami Film Festival's film school competition open to any student enrolled in participating in South Florida colleges and universities. Cinema Slam aims to showcase student films. The result? René de Dios took home several awards this year. Best Director, Best Writing, Best Technical Achievement, and the Grand Prize, the Cinema Slam 2018 Champion, along with the Sarah Fuller Scholarship. It, it felt unreal, you know, like, I, I was very confident going in, but until it actually happened, and even when it happened, like, I couldn't believe it. They deserved the awards they won. I know that our film program is the best in South Florida, and when we sweep awards at competitions like this, it just proves to me uh, that what we do is worthwhile. But the Miami Beach of 1960s is unrecognizable to the city thousands visit today. So how do you tell a story that's long relegated to memory? The fact that I found all this archival footage actually had a lot to do with, you know, making the film as well. Like that let us know that there was enough content to actually produce a film that was about something that happened, you know, 30, 40 years ago. The students discovered the footage in the Lynn and Louis II Wolfson, Florida Moving Image Archives, located at MDC's Wolfson campus an official moving image repository and archives of the state of Florida. The Wolfson Archives has over 35,000 hours of videotape and 23 million feet of film, making it one of the largest institutions of its kind in the United States. And they basically uh, are holding a bunch of archives of different newsreels and home videos, and it's a very, very cool resource that Miami-Dade College has that allowed us to make this film. More stories depicting Florida's rich history will take center stage at next year's Miami Film Festival, thanks to a generous gift from the Lynn and Louis Wolfson II Family Foundation. The gift of $127,500 will provide general program and sponsorship support for Cinema Slam to establish several awards for the 2018 and 2020 competitions, including a category for Best Film Featuring Archival Material. Yeah, I think the fact that they're going to open up the archives for other filmmakers, it's going to make it a lot easier for people to have access and to just know that it exists. Because I feel like a lot of people don't even know that there are all these stories from old Miami and old Miami Beach that we actually have access to through these archives. The students are not done with their documentary yet and are now working to turn their short film into a feature. The reason why we're making this film into a full-length feature film is because there were just too many stories to tell that we couldn't like touch on in the short film. A lot of stories had to be cut out. Like it's, we, you could write a book on, on all the stories that these guys have of their times growing up. Alumni from SEDT are making a name for themselves in the local industry. And this duo will definitely continue that legacy with plans to collaborate on even more projects in the future. 
I'm motivated for more, you know, like I, I, I feel like it's, it's not enough. We still need to prove ourselves. For MDC in Focus, I'm Valentina Gonzalez.